Hi everyone, today I'm coming to you with a very exciting video. So I'm going to be showing you an app which I've been loving recently and they were kind enough to sponsor this video. So this is Xtiles. It's such a fun new way of visualizing your information and it's just so easy to use and it's just a really nice app. I've been really enjoying it and I will show you how I've set up the X tiles for my personal use and kind of how you can use it yourself. So yeah, this is X tiles and I'm happy to share with you how you can use it. Like I said, I'm going to be showing you how I set up X tiles for my personal workspace. I'm definitely someone who loves making lists and trackers and to-do lists. It's just my favorite way of organizing information and I think X tiles handles it in a really clever way. They use a concept of tiles within a document that allows you to visualize your information in a different way than usual. So say you just have a normal text document, it's very easy for information to get unorganized and just messy if you just have one solid document, but these tiles kind of force you to categorize your ideas even if it's just a brain dump. You can clearly categorize them with these little blocks. It's really easy to switch around, it's very customizable and you can even add different types of medias so that's like photos, documents, all that kind of stuff. It's just a really fun way to organize information in a different way. Now let's cover my personal setup in Xtile so you can see how I've organized it to fit my workflow and how I like to organize information. So here you can see I have this workspace called Lifehub where I've made documents here. One is content manager and one is weekly. I liked to split those up because they definitely have different focuses. So we're gonna start off with a weekly one. So this is just a document where I can go and do all my planning for the week. This can even be like a daily thing as well because I have like a today section, but this is how I've organized it for myself. When you first create your document, you have the option to add in icons and a cover image. I think this is really nice to make it more personal to how you want your pages to look. So what I've done here is I just added this cloud emoji icon. I added in just the title, which is weekly. And then I added a cover image that I actually made, I think in Canva. Um, I just made like a search bar searching for coffee shops near me because you, we all know there's no better place to work than in a coffee shop. So that's kind of how I've set up my first page here. And you can see within each document, you can have more than one page, I guess you can call them. So I have one for to do and one for content, which I'm going to get into, but I quickly want to show you what it looks like when you have a blank screen. So this is what it will look like. Like I said, you can add icons and covers and things, but what I really want to show you is the template gallery that they have here because if you don't want to spend a lot of time creating your own like setup, it's really easy to use their templates because it just saves you a lot of time and it's really cool templates. So let me show you here. We have weekly planner classic. Let's click on that and see. So they give you an idea of what it will look like. And then you can also go here and look at all the other ones. This one is really cute. I think I'm gonna go with this one here. So I'm just gonna click on use this template and then it's set it up for me. I can now just add like my cover image and all that. But then we have here a solid, nice setup that I didn't even have to work hard on. It's just there. And it's just so nice to just have these little templates just to make it easier on you. Like I said, if you don't wanna create your own and spend time doing that, and you just wanna jump into starting to organize. So how I've set up my section here for to-dos, I first made this block, which is today, which allows me to just make to-do list for every single day. It's really easy, you just use forward slash, and then you can write to-do, and then they give you a list of all the things you can add. So it's really easy to add in like these little things. So forward slash is definitely gonna be your best friend um, and then you just choose whatever you want. So if you wanted to add like a task, then you can just type in task, click enter, and then it adds a task. What's really cool is when you go to this section here that says tasks, you can view all the tasks that you've set over all your pages. So if you're scared you're gonna forget anything, all, they're all here in the task section. So that really is helpful to view all the tasks that you have. But yeah, this is how I've set it up. I added a today section here, a this week section. So that's for to-do list. That's more for the week that I don't have to do exactly that day. I also just added in an image here for the month so I can change that out every single month. So May is coming up and then I can change that image. I also just added a goal section for that month. So that's why it's under the April block. 
And then I have my TBR for the month that I can quickly cross off if I want to, which is also really nice. So yeah, this is just so nice. And then you can add in more images. And I even added in a habit tracker. So this is also really nice that it allows you to make like trackers and things. You can add tables. It's really easy. So if I were to make like a block here, I can just quickly add in a table and then write in whatever I want for that table. Blocks are also really customizable. So as you can see, my blocks have colors here at the top um, and mine doesn't look exactly like this. All you need to do to get that is just click on the three dots here and go to tile style and choose here. So if you're just on white, this is what you're gonna, it's gonna look like. But if you choose maybe like orange, you'll see you have now two styles. You have one that's just a color. So if you want a solid color for your table, or you can go ahead and choose my favorite one, which is this one. So that just adds the color at the top and leaves the rest as white. So that is how I prefer to have my blocks, but it's very customizable. So you can play around with that and all the styling, but yeah, each block just acts as its own little page, I guess. So I can start with a title here. Let's make a meal tracker or something like that. Then you can go ahead and add in like a table. I can write here meal. And also here I can write day. And I'm going to make this the type that is multi-select. So then I can just add in a meal. So let's say chicken parmesan. And then I can set the day to Monday. And then I can just fill this in throughout the week. But I can also add even more like text here at the bottom. So I can like add in an image if I want like some more inspiration for foods. They have a section where you can upload files, but you can also just use some of the files that they have here on Unsplash, all the images. So you can just make it look really cool, but that's just an, like, an example of how you can customize each tile for whatever you need it. But yeah, so that is how I set up my to-do section with lists and also trackers that I can fill out. Then we have here content, which is where I kind of plan out my content, but not like in the specifics, only when I want to do whatever task for my content. So I can just quickly make like to-do lists here. I also just added in this image. So I can focus on what I wanna do each day, but not so much on exactly how I want to plan out the videos that I have in my content manager. So this is just to give myself an idea of when I wanna achieve what on what day of the week. So that's why it's also in this weekly section. It's basically also a to-do list, but just focused on work, not so much personal. I also just quickly wanted to show what a template from X-Tiles could turn into when you put your own spin on it. So I have this template here, which is really nice for content creators. It's this one called Designer Workspace. So this is a template from X-Tiles, and this is what it looks like. It's really nice if you're a creator, if you want one space to put like all your resources and things. So I wanna show you how I use this template to create kind of my own spin on it, cause that's basically what templates are. You just put your own spin on them. So this is mine. I just retitled it my brand, put my profile pic and YouTube channel banner as the icons. And I completely use the same thing. I just kind of made it my own with my own images and things, but it's exactly the same thing. Um, so images and icons, mockups, all of that with all these bookmarks, which is really nice. And also I just, I used some of the pages. So some of them I actually deleted just the ones that I needed. Um, so here's also colors. I actually still need to work on this a bit more, but there you have that. I have fonts, which is here and I have video tutorials, which these are things that I would never think to make myself, but since the template was here, I could just use it. So, and here are all my video tutorials. So again, here is what their template looked like the fonts, the video tutorials. And this is how I basically turned it into my own by just changing some of the images to fit my style more and just utilizing the things that they already gave me, like these places where I can insert images and bookmarks and things like that. So it saves a lot of time. If you had to do this yourself, you'd be spending a lot more hours. So I love this. So that's just to show how powerful templates can be. Now let's get to my content manager. So this is how I've set it up. The first section here is YouTube and the second section here is short form. So I have two main types of content that I make. So YouTube videos are like this, which is big production -y videos. And then short form is just 
vertical videos like Instagram Reels, TikToks, all that kind of stuff. So how I've organized this and kind of set it up, I added just like another emoji icon. And for a cover, I just made this also in Canva, same kind of deal with the search bar. I added in my channel cover and all that. So that is how I set it up for more customization. And then for what's actually in here, I added in an image. I added in all my branding for my channel. So this is my channel profile pic, my channel cover. I added in my media kit, which is really nice. So I can add in like documents and things. And then I added in my brand colors by adding in images so that I can just quickly see them here. So all this makes it really nice, kind of like a vision board. You can do this with like goals and things as well. Adding in a bunch of type, different types of like documents and photos and all that just to make it look very cool and cohesive. Then here I just sectioned this off in like the branding section, then videos. So for here, this is where I track all my YouTube videos that I'm making and also just ideas for YouTube videos. So again, another image, and then I added in a table here. So what I have here is I title the videos. So this is all that. Then the status for them. So Excel's review, I'm actually filming right now, so I can change that. And then I have the upload date that I'm planning to upload them. And then here I have this tile, which says all my video ideas. So I just have like a long list here. That is all my video ideas that I want to make. Um, it's just nice to have all here when you're planning out content. And then here I have my video archive. So here is where I plan out my videos. By planning out, I mean I script them, I put in all the shots that I want to film, all the bullet points of topics I want to cover. So let's go into the video for Kindle Tips and Tricks, which I posted maybe two weeks ago, that I want to show you how I kind of set this up. So this is what a normal video outline looks for me. Um, I have key points that I want to cover. Then I have a table which covers all the filming I want to do, the shot, the type of shot, and if I've done it. And then I have all my scripts. So for each key point here, I just go into more detail on what I want to cover for that. So this is what a video outline looks like for me. And I've actually made a template what I, that I can reuse. So basically how I use templates within Excels is I just make a page and then I can just click on duplicate. Nope. Forget that. There's a really easy way to just actually make a template. You don't have to duplicate a page every single time. All you need to do is go to the page that you've made. So I recommend making a whole new document for this. And then all you need to do, click on the three dots here and click on turn into template. And then you have it. It's so easy and yeah, it's just much better. So now every time I wanna make a new video, all I need to do is just title my video, click here and click on create sub page. And then all I need to do is click on open the template gallery and go to my templates. And there it is, video template. I click on it, use this template, and boom, it's there. Which is really so much easier and you can make so many templates and you can reuse them, which saves a lot of time. So I recommend doing this. And this is what it looks like. So like I said, it has the key points and then where I can go into more detail about those. And then it has my filming list and the description, whatever I want in the description box. And then I just have other here where I can just add anything else that is additional for that video. So this is how I've organized my YouTube videos. Now let's go to short form content. This is kind of the same thing. I just added in this nice image of tulips. I feel like the productivity space can sometimes be very strict on what apps to use, how you need to achieve certain things, all that kind of stuff. But I feel like productivity is such a personal thing to each person and how they view a successful day or I don't even want to just use the word productivity because it's such a broad term actually but just making it fun is such an important part of it I think especially for me just like adding in images into your apps using apps that are actually fun to use I think that's what really helps at the end of the day um so yeah, let's make productivity fun again. So yeah, anyway, this is how I've set up my short form. Um, I just have the same table, but just for my short form content. And then I just have also video ideas, also the video archives. And all I've just added here is quick links to all my social medias. So it's really easy to make a quick link. You just type in. So if I wanted to link a Twitter, which I don't actually have. All I need to do is select this word, click on this link and paste the link there. And then you will have like a quick link that you can access. 
So yeah, that is my X Styles workspace and how I've set it up. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I hope it gave you an idea of what you can kind of do in X Styles. Like I said, this just brings a new twist and fun twist, I think, to making lists and making documents and all that. So I think any person can use this in their own way, whether it's for weekly plannings, making trackers, habit trackers, if it's for just note-taking for school and all stuff like that, I think this can be really helpful as well. Even just dumping ideas, like I said, I think the tiles really help organize it. So even if you have like a whole page of just dumping a bunch of ideas, it's still organized in some way within these tiles. And then also just like I said, goals and vision boards and things like that, like something like this can also really be cool to make in X tiles. I think this is definitely also something that's more visual for people who don't want to use apps like Notion or Trello or more traditional apps because this has such a fun twist on organizing and it's really easy to use as well. So this can definitely be a replacement for apps like that. Um, so I definitely recommend testing out X tiles and playing around with it yourself and seeing if it's something that will work for you. I'm sorry we went through a lot of lighting changes in this video. Um, I think it's just cloudy, so I'm sorry for that. But I hope you enjoyed this video and my setup on X tiles. Let me know if this is something you would try out and how you recommend people use X tiles and what you would use it for. Definitely leave those in the comments down below. Also, if you guys wanna use the workspaces that I'm showing you guys in this video that I made, I will have templates linked in the description box below that you can use, as well as a link to X tiles so that you can get the app for yourself. I highly recommend it. I wanna say thank you to the people at X tiles for sponsoring this video and just introducing me to this app because I've had so much fun playing around with it. It's really such a nice app. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, all the stuff you know how to do, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!